All right, welcome back trophy husbands. Today we're testing the limits of the Jackery Explorer power station after over two years of use and the APC UPS backup battery after about a year and a half of use. Are they lying? How long will they actually power things like modems, TVs, and computers when the power goes out? We're gonna go over seven things you should know, including the tests. These are Amazon's best rated backup batteries, and I'm about to show you why a power outage stopping your wife from working is a thing of the past. But before we start, number one, what are these? Well, here in California, we have power outages all the time because power lines just swing in the wind above dry grass, start fires, power goes out. Now, when I worked for the government, I actually asked our governor personally, why not just put the power lines underground? Hey, he grabbed me close, embraced me and said, because I want to see everything burn, Jeremy. Just buy a power wall like everybody else. So I went out and bought a $10,000 power wall, Problem solved. No, turns out it's not enough power. Other trophy husbands have like six of them. Send help, but not for me because I bought these extra backup batteries. This is APC's 600VA UPS, not that UPS, an uninterruptible power supply. It's basically a surge protector with a battery built in. It gives you a few minutes, rated for 23 minutes at 100 watts to shut down your computer during a power outage. So normally what I use it for, I've got two routers plugged into it. So when the power goes out, the internet is uninterrupted. But for how long that's coming. Now it has one, two, three, four, five power outlets connected to the battery and then two regular surge protector outlets with plenty of space in between for big plugs. It's got a USB outlet here, regular USB, and then a USB-B plug right here if you wanna tell it to tell your computer to shut down automatically when there's a power outage. APC is well known, 40 years old, built by three MIT engineers, and is the leader of UPS backup batteries. Well. I'll be the judge of that. I didn't waste time going to MIT. I just married someone who went to MIT and now I can spend all day just criticizing people who actually invent things and do stuff. And this is the Jackery Explorer 240, 240 watt hours. It has an AC outlet here, a 12 volt outlet here and two USB ports here and the charging ports right here. They claim it will charge your phone 24 times or your laptop twice. You can even plug in a solar panel to keep the fun going forever. But before you buy it, there's a new version out, the Explorer 300 with more juice, more outlets, USB-C for laptops, fast charging, way faster and way better in every way. Jackery is the largest producer of portable power stations. This thing's pretty light. I've been fascinated by this company because they were the first to make batteries with an AC plug in them affordable. So we have portable power stations, lots of power in this guy to use anywhere after the power goes out and a UPS, which is like a magical surge protector that keeps the power going uninterrupted. But for how long? Number two, UPS modem test. Now I have my APC plugged into a giant Xfinity modem slash router and an additional Google mesh router. Two routers, one battery that's a year and a half old. Let's pull the plug and see when they die. The UPS starts blinking twice as soon as it's unplugged and the internet is uninterrupted. Nice, I would have had a hissy fit otherwise. To my amazement, 57 minutes in, still going strong. And then I was shocked. It went over a hundred minutes. The timer restarted because it only goes up to a hundred. I didn't expect this. And then at 126 minutes, the green light started blinking continuously with a uh, little warning beep. About three minutes later, 129 minutes, the power went off and the modem shut down. Two routers, two hours of runtime about. I was pleasantly surprised. I give the modem test an 8.9 out of 10. Now the Xfinity router averaged somewhere between 18 and 20 watts. That's a lot. It's a little eco-terrorist. The average is only six watts. And the Google Mesh router was pulling around three watts, bouncing between two and four watts. I had both running, so if you have just one efficient router running, 
you'll go all day long. My setup's two hours with two, but if you have an old modem, good luck. Take the, take the modem back to the cable company, tell them it's a little eco-terrorist. Number three, the UPS computer test. This APC is rated to run a 100 watt desktop computer for 23 minutes. And you might think what loser has a desktop anymore? This loser, me. I hooked it up to my Mac Studio, two giant screens, and later turned on some LED lights, mixed in a couple of big hard drives. And I was trying to pull as much energy as I could to make sure I had enough. I was rendering videos and pulling anywhere from 90 watts to 160 watts total. I'd say averaging around 120 watts. And how long did it last? It all ran for 16 minutes before a warning beep and just 12 seconds later, everything shut down. Again, very impressive. It's rated brand new for 23 minutes at 100 watts and that's under lab conditions. I ran it oh, well over 120 watts on an old battery and you should only expect about 85% capacity under real world conditions. I give the computer test an 8.7 out of 10. I was very impressed it ran everything, big screens and all for 16 minutes. I'm most impressed with the battery life after a year and a half. I give it a nine out of 10 for longevity. Maybe batteries just last longer now, but it did very well. Number four, go big. Most backup battery companies are telling us things like 600 VA or 240 watt hours, lab rated hours. I've got news for you. I don't live in a lab or understand your fancy words. How much battery do I need to watch birds on my TV? The answer is always specifically more. You don't buy this 330 max watt UPS if you actually need 330 watts because batteries are extremely inefficient when you max them out. This UPS is only rated to run at 330 watts for three minutes in 12 seconds. That's nothing. If you do the math, 330 watts times 192 seconds, you only get 63,000 watts total. However, if you go easy on it and only run it at 33 watts, it's rated to go one hour and 22 minutes. That's 33 watts times 4,920 seconds, or one hour and 22 minutes, for a grand total of 162,000 watts. It's magic. How did you pull 162,000 watts out of a box that only gave you 63,000 watts when you maxed it out. These batteries are like cars. If you drive like a bat out of hell, expect terrible, terrible gas mileage. But it's even worse because it's an electric car, which gets even worse mileage when they go fast, even cruising on the freeway. They're better at in cities at low speeds because as they speed up, the batteries get hot. Even this guy, the fan turns on and they burn up their energy fast. So it's better to buy a battery rated for way, 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 way more watts than you need because they are far more efficient when you use them at a fraction of their capacity. And these MIT people, they need to give more real world examples of what each battery can power because some batteries are even less efficient when you max them out. But the point is to buy bigger than what you need a lot bigger, 10 times, 20 times more watts than you need. Go big. Number five, would I buy APC again, specifically this one? This APC 600 VA, whatever that means, is a great deal at $80. But if I was to do it again, I would move up to APC's 1500 VA for $194 just because it's more efficient and will probably run the internet all day long. You won't have to switch it over to another battery. And of course now Amazon makes knockoffs that are probably the same thing. Should we really be supporting Amazon ripping off great companies making great products? Uh, all depends on what your weekly allowance is. If your wife starts bringing up getting a job to you, just go with the Amazon, save, save the money. Number six, the Jackery TV and modem tests. I've got two Jackeries, both over two years old. The Explorer 240 is rated at 
240 watt hours. Now, first off, it does have 240 watt hours, but that is a dumb name because its maximum capacity is for only 200 watt appliances. Don't you dare confuse me before I even start this review. But at least they give us an idea of what we can run, sort of, 60 watt TV for three hours or a 15 watt fan for 15 hours. Okay, well, what about my wasteful 160 watt 65 inch TV or my 20 watt power hungry Xfinity modem? I unplugged them and hooked a Jackery up to each. And once the internet was back up and running, I put on birds to entertain my dog Mando. How long will it last Mando? I love this. The rest of California can be in a state of chaos, blackouts everywhere, but Mando will be watching birds on YouTube. At 41 minutes, the TV Jackery was down to 55%, fluctuating, staying around 160 watts. At one hour and 23 minutes, the TV Jackery had 5% left and then just abruptly shut off. And it is over two years old, so that's okay if the warning is a little bit off. They promised 60 watts for three hours. It did a whopping 160 watts for an hour and 23 minutes. Not bad, not bad at all. I give the TV test a 9.5 out of 10. And come on, Mando, you don't need to watch a 65-inch TV when the power goes out. We can watch a uh, iPad all day. Now, the Xfinity router pulling around 20 watts still had 89% of its power when the TV died. After five hours, it was still at 51%. And at eight hours, it had 29% left when I shut it off because of bedtime. I need my rest. So it went all day long, probably would have gone 10 hours with my super power hungry modem. I give the modem test a 9.5 out of 10 as well. It's super impressive. That means we could also power my wife's MacBook all day long. Keep her making money. Over two years old, the batteries on these guys last. It's still, both of them still hold charges near 100% for months. I give the longevity score a 9.4 out of 10. Number seven, would I buy the Jackery 240 again? No. The recharge time from zero to 80%, that's what they typically judge it by. It was five hours and 52 minutes for me, about six hours. It's a problem other people have had with this guy specifically. It's supposed to charge in just 3.5 hours. So I give the recharge score very slow, a three out of 10, pretty disappointing. And the pass through charging didn't work after I plugged it back in. The TV wouldn't turn back on with the battery on this guy dead because the input only allows for a measly 38 watts coming into this thing. Fortunately, the 300 has fixed that problem. The AC input is 90 watts, way more. Plus you can plug a 60 watt USB-C charger into it, a cord, USB-C cord to get double the speed. And uh, people say it actually charges in two hours, which is extremely fast. So I definitely go with the newer 300 for fast charging and all the extra ports and new technology because in California with our power crisis, eventually we're all going to be waiting in government lines to fill up our batteries. And you got to be quick. You spend too much time filling up the battery. They'll come over, they'll hit your hand with a spoon, a wooden spoon and say, move along. That's all the electricity California has for you. But for now, these guys are great for me. If you need to power something like a fridge, Jackery makes a giant $1,700 Explorer 1500 go big. It's a fraction of the cost of my Tesla Powerwall. Yes, it's still expensive, but throwing out all your frozen food multiple times a year in California is also getting very expensive. Plus, with the Jackery, it's all your power. It's only a matter of time before California starts confiscating my power wall energy because sharing is caring and we gotta go green. Now, overall scores for everything, the value, the Jackery 240 is a solid 9.1 out of 10. The slow recharging time lost at some major points, but the 300 seems to fix all of that. Now the APC, I love this thing, but I didn't like that it doesn't have a battery meter on it anywhere. Uh, it makes me very uncomfortable, anxious, but for only 80 bucks, it keeps the internet kicking for two hours with two routers for me. 
This guy is a solid 9.0 out of 10. Both of these are solid, solid buys. Stay green, trophy husbands.